This short video is going to show you how to get from Hungry Jack Lodge right here to Rose Falls up here between uh, Rose Lake and Duncan Lake. If you don't know how to get to Hungry Jack Lodge, it's real simple. Come up County Road 12, the Gun Flint Trail out of Grand Marais until you get to County Road 65. Uh, which is also Hungry Jack Road. Take a right on Hungry Jack Road, stay to the left, follow it around, and you will eventually get to a point where you'll see a large uh, uh, arch and sign for Hungry Jack Lodge. Come down to go under the arch uh, and go all the way to the end of the road. Down at the end of the road, you'll find the main lodge and the bait house and what have you. If you don't own your own canoe, I suggest you rent one at Hungry Jack Lodge. Uh, you'll leave from this point, and you'll end up going around the point of the peninsula, follow the North Shore, uh, and you'll eventually come to a bay about a half a mile down from Hungry Jack Lodge. Head into the bay, just about dead center in the bay, you're going to uh, see a worn spot a little bit. You don't need to unload your canoe, just pick it up and carry it flat, straight across to a uh, well-worn path, straight across to uh, Bearskin Lake. Once you start paddling on Bearskin Lake, you want to end up in this northwest bay. Uh, kind of head north and then turn uh, northwest into the bay uh, and towards the portage uh, going to Duncan Lake. The, the portage from Duncan to Bearskin is not as flat as the other short one that you did so you're probably going to have to pick the canoe up and carry it on your head and carry your other equipment uh, uh, separately. Uh, start up the trail you'll climb slightly to around this point then it'll level off and be pretty level until here uh, it'll start dropping slightly to here and then from here on down to the lake shore on Duncan it will be a little bit steeper but it's not real bad. Uh, once you get to the shore of Duncan you're probably going to want to rest a little bit be after the portage. Just take your time, relax, take a couple of pictures, what have you. Uh, once you start paddling on Duncan I suggest you stay relatively close to shore because Duncan can get somewhat rough if uh, the wind is strong out of the north or northwest. You're going to come up to this far corner right at the very tip. As you go up uh, that little finger it's going to get narrower and shallower. Once you get to the end a little bit to the left you'll find kind of a flatter muddy spot. Uh, get out at that flat muddy spot pull your canoe off to the side unless you plan on uh, portaging into Rose. I don't recommend portaging into Rose Lake unless you're in pretty good shape. It's not hard to get down to Rose but it is a little bit difficult coming back up. So once you uh, get to the end here start up the, the trail and it'll be flat uh, up until about here. This portion here can be a little muddy if it's rained within the past day. From here to this point it does go uphill slightly, not too bad. Once you get to this place you'll see one trail, the main trail, going ahead and to the left. You'll also see a small a footpath going off to the right. I highly recommend taking the small footpath to the right. About a block down you'll see a small footbridge. Cross over the footbridge you'll end up uh, high up on uh, the shore of Rose Lake uh, with a, a really good view of Canada on the other side. Uh, and what have you. It's gorgeous, great place for pictures. Uh, while you're up in that area, uh, it's a good place to have uh, lunch or stop and rest a little bit. 
uh, and there's a lot of big rocks and some big pine trees. After you've rested a bit, walk back towards the footbridge, but don't cross it. Over in this area here, you will find uh, a place where you're right above the falls and you'll be able to shoot photos right down the falls. After you've taken some pictures up in this general area, work your way back to the footbridge, back to the T. Take the main trail, uh, it'll turn around to the right and you'll go down just a few stairs and right in this area here you'll be dead even with the falls. It'll be at eye level and about 50 feet away. If it's really warm you can uh, climb down into the gorge. There's a pool at the bottom. Uh, you can take a little swim. I do want to warn you the rocks are wet and slippery. Be very careful. After you've taken some photos at the falls and maybe taking a dip start on down the rest of the trail you'll go down a bunch of stairs and eventually the stairs will end and you'll be on the trail you'll end up right down here on the shore of rose lake uh it uh it's also a very pretty area uh there's places down there to swim uh there's some not as much shade as up at the top the Canadian border runs right through rows. Once you're done relaxing a little bit, uh, you want to start back. It goes without saying, you're just going to backtrack and you're going to go back uh, up the stairs to the T, down the portage trail, uh, back to your canoe. Once you get back to your canoe, uh, you're going to backtrack uh, on Duncan Lake. You're going to go back to the uh, portage uh, that goes to bearskin. Uh, after you get there, do the portage back to bearskin, paddle back over to the portage which goes to Hungry Jack, and you're almost all done. Uh, I like to, uh, after I get back, I usually like to go in the lodge, have a cold beer or drink or a snack, they do have uh, things to eat and drink there. They also serve dinner, but you do need 24-hour reservation for dinner. So I would suggest that if you uh, plan on having dinner, you call the evening before, make a reservation, and then uh, after you get back from your canoe trip, you can relax a little bit, have a nice dinner in their gorgeous dining room. Uh, Total trip time should be between three and five hours. Three hours and you're rushing it, five hours you're stretching it out. Normal is about four hours. I know I went a little bit fast, but there are time limitations for video on YouTube. Uh, as a result, uh, it was necessary. Enjoy yourself. Enjoy Hungry Jack Lodge. I hope you take the trip and enjoy the trip.